During the tenure of the Community Preservation Act, Situate has been awarded over $8 million in additional funding from the state, revenue the town would not normally have. There have been over 20 land acquisitions for open space, totaling over 360 acres in town, including most recently 4.8 acres of Prime Harbor real estate across from the Mill Wharf. CPA funding has resulted in completion of over 140 projects, including many historical and recreation projects. Historic projects include work on the Bailey Ellis House, the Lawson Tower, Stockbridge Mill, and the GAR Hall, to name a few. Recreation projects include several playgrounds, the Harbor Walk, fields at Cushing, parking at Roachfield, and the new high school sports complex. The high school project is instrumental in the town avoiding a Title IX lawsuit, as well as fixing a non-MIAA standard track and field facility. None of these projects would have been funded without CPC. CPC funding for over $2 million was a requirement for the affordable elderly housing that is being built behind the Lawson Apartments. CPC projects are initiated by the citizens of the town, not by the committee as some believe. The committee fully vets each application to determine if it is an appropriate use of taxpayer dollars. The committee only approves or rejects applications brought to our attention. The purchase of the Mordecai Lincoln property is another taxpayer initiated project that the committee supports. It's one of the most significant historical assets in the town of Situate that's privately owned and working with the Ladd family, they have presented it as an opportunity to be able to purchase it. But it's much more than historic. So it sits on 5.6 acres of land. Uh, it really has two opportunities there. One, it's open space. So we've purchased hundreds of acres of open space west of 3A, but this is an open space purchase east of 3A. It's a beautiful property. It abuts the Gulf River and the Bound Brook. So we also think there are recreational opportunities, especially for things like kayaks and canoeing, is that we can have a safe place for these kayaks and canoes to launch and access the Gulf River. If you're ever driving along Gannett Road on a busy summer day, you'll see there's so many cars lined up trying to you know, get their kayaks off the trucks into the Gulf River. This will provide a safe, clear access. And then there's also opportunities for things like fishing, birding, nature walks, picnics, whatever, whatever you may have. So that's really the open space and recreational opportunity. And then from a historic point of view, there's the main house that was built by Mordecai Lincoln. So Mordecai Lincoln is the great, great, great grandfather of President Abraham Lincoln. So he's a very significant person in the history of the town of Situate. And the original home that was built is still as it was pretty much built. It has been unmuddled. It's a beautiful historic property. And then the original Mordecai Lincoln Mill. It operated as a mill up until the early 1900s. It was used as a grist mill and a saw mill. So it really is a, uh, an amazing building in and of itself. So when you take everything together, the historic opportunities, open space, recreation, we think it's a really great opportunity for the town.